Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Brad. Welcome to the Money Dad channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about why the stock market is rallying so hard this week and why it crashed last week. It has everything to do with the election. Let's jump in. Okay, so I'm going to talk about why the stock market crashed last week, why it's rallying so hard this week. Real quick, I want to show you the numbers. So on the S&P 500 last week, we lost 5.64%. That's a pretty big swing in a one week span, but we had an even bigger swing to the upside this week so far. And we still have Friday, which is looking like it's gonna be a slightly down day, but um, that's because we've swung so hard to the upside. So, so far this week, we are up 7.35% in one week alone, which is a huge move. So the reason for these swings, leading up until the election, it looked like Biden was gonna win, and, and Biden does not have a favorable tax plan for the markets and for investors. So the market started selling off because Biden is going to bring with him a tax plan that is not favorable for the stock market and not favorable for investors. So I pulled up some key findings of his tax plan. I'm just going to read it out because some uh, it, this is a pretty good summary of why uh, his tax plan is not going to be good for the market. Okay, Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden would enact a number of policies that would raise taxes on individuals with income above 400000 including raising individual income, capital gains, right? So that affects the market, and payroll taxes, which affects companies. Again, the market. Biden would also raise taxes on corporations by raising the corporate income tax rate and imposing a corporate minimum book tax. All right, so lots of taxes on companies, bad for the markets. So, so this is the reason why the stock market started selling off so hard last week because everybody thought, according to the polls, Biden was gonna win. Fast forward to this week, Biden is winning. So why are we rallying? Well, a president cannot push a tax plan through by himself or herself. You have to have congressional approval of that tax plan. So even though the Democrats have the House, they do not have the Senate. It looks like the Senate is going to stay Republican, which means Biden can't push his tax plan through. It will not get approved because Republicans are going to block it in the Senate. So we're, we have a Biden presidency with no Biden tax plan. So the market is pricing that back in. They're saying, Okay, we sold off because we thought we were going to get a tax plan that was not favorable for the market. Now it looks like we're going to keep Trump's tax plan, which is very good for the market. So the market is going right back up to where it was before. So that is the reason for the swings. Basically, in a nutshell, last week we thought we were going to get Biden's tax plan. This week it looks like we are going to get Biden in the White House, but we are going to keep the Trump tax plan, which is great for the market. So that's it. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe button. Thanks, everyone.